hello everyone welcome back to our youtube channel in the previous video we started learning about conditions in this video we will create an automated cloud flow that will be triggered on the submission of a form in this video we will create a microsoft form and we will use conditions to send an email let's get started here we will create an automated cloud flow use the trigger of microsoft form when a new response is submitted We will select charity form and we will use an action to get the dynamic details of the form submitted. Now we will use conditions here. In the conditions, we will check if the submitted value is greater than 3000. As the value submitted is of string type, we will first convert it into integer by using int expression that is conversion expression now we will add an action send an email v2 and specify the details of the receiver and the content of the email here we will specify the details of the person who has submitted this form For the false condition, we will add an action, post a message in a chat or channel. Now we will specify the content of the message. Now we will name this flow and save it. We are testing this flow manually. As it is an automated cloud flow, we need a starting action to trigger this flow. Here, the donor's name is Nishan Choudhury and he wants to donate a sum of 7000 rupees. Here, the true condition is implemented and we have received this email. Let's fill this form again to check whether the false condition is executed accurately. As we have received this Teams message, this means we have successfully implemented this flow. And that's it. We have successfully implemented this flow. In the next video, we will learn about nested conditions in Power Automate. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.